you would read that and think, were these guys reading the Bible when they wrote this? Well, when was this written? This was from the mid nineties. And interestingly, to piggyback on your previous 2025 conversation, you know what the name of this futurist think tank in DC who are well-funded, they're mm -hmm. big corporate establishment, NSA. I mean, these are insiders yeah. at the global elite. Their group was called Project 2025. That's so weird. In the mid nineties. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Wow. And, and they published this in 97 and it's like, here's all, here are all the things that we expect to happen in the world by 2025. And yeah. a lot of it is on this crisis level conversation that you brought up. Yeah. When you look at Bible prophecy, you don't see the date 2025. No. And I, I don't want to be dogmatic about, right. you know, something's got to be in 2025. But when you look at the predictions they made, they were futurists, right? Mm -hmm. Their win rate is extraordinary. Well, I've got a whole yeah. seminar where I'm going to not only just teach on this, but there are other indicators pointing to 2025 and the years that follow as crisis time. And yeah. so, you know, w Matthew 24 is key and, and Jesus repeated it in Luke. When you look at global crisis events, people sometimes have fear, anxiety. In yeah. fact, Jesus said, men's hearts will fail them for it fear. Will. It will. But to us, it means l lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's two different responses. Perfect love drives out all fear. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when we look at predictions like this or Alice A. Bailey, the master occultist, or a lot of different indicators, historical cycles, we can talk about any or all of those. But um, the seminar I'm preparing on it is called I will not be moved. Mm -hmm. So I thought about just calling it the coming crisis, you know, but yeah. no, focus on the security in Christ. Anytime there's a crisis in the Bible, God has always given how to make it through it. Exactly. What yeah. to do. Like he's given the recipe. He's not going to just spring something onto the, the end of the world and like, oh, sorry, good luck, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's like he's given yeah. us the tools to yeah. make it. What you find is the enemy. It's almost like he he shows his cards. Like he lays them out on the table and it's like, this is, this is what I plan to do. And that's why when we, we take books like this and we're like, we recognize like what we were talking about before the show, it's not prophecy. No, it's right? not. Right. Yeah. This is not coming from God. It's not from an inspired source. Exactly. But the enemy, he can, he can work and he can plan and he can, he can make things Execute you know, his go plan. to a certain yep. certain way but it doesn't it, it doesn't mean two things it doesn't mean that it's going to happen in the time that he wants it to happen because god is sovereign exactly god is on the throne. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean that it's always going to work out the way he wants it to work out mm -hmm. going back to the same point because god is sovereign and and so we know that things are going to happen because the bible says they are mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that satan's in control god's yeah. the one in control and so we want to start point. this thing with some encouragement yeah. because all of this could be discouraging, especially yeah. if you don't know Jesus. Good point. Yeah. And, and by the way, when you're talking about God is sovereign, aren't mm -hmm. the winds of strife in Revelation 6 being held back right mm -hmm. now to they give are. us time? Like when, when we look at the historical cycles, mm -hmm. we're in we're in crisis time now. Mm -hmm. And it's only a matter of time before that happens from Revelation 6 and the winds of strife come. But He's holding them back so that we receive the seal of God, right? Mm -hmm. So that we are prepared for the coming mm -hmm. crisis. That's why all the warnings are given in prophecy, so that it doesn't come upon us as a thief and yeah. lets if no we are in darkness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know yeah. what's coming. And mm -hmm. and by the way, all the time prophecies in the Bible have been fulfilled. 1798, 1844, mm -hmm. way back to 27 yep. AD, 31 yep. AD. So 2025 is not a time prophecy here, but the encouragement you asked it asked for it. God is our refuge and strength. I'm reading from Psalm 46, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, even though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make glad, like peace, like a river, mm -hmm. you know that hymn? Yeah. Make glad the city of God. So this is talking about the people of God, the church of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, mm -hmm. female always yeah, describing church. the church. She shall not be moved. That's where mm -hmm. I'm getting the title from. I will not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. God, sh nation, The nations raged, last verse, yeah. the nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. That's mm. what we're talking about with crisis, World yeah. War Three, cyber pandemics. But God uttered his voice, the earth melted. That's when Jesus comes. You know, it's yeah. almost like you know, somebody getting upset and trying to intimidate you. If you know that 
there's nothing this person can do to me or I'm in God's care. It's like they could make the the elements go out of whack. And it's like, you're still like, nope, sorry. That, yeah. that even doesn't do it. Doesn't yeah. scare me. 